What's going on guys? Ari here. Uh, as you see, my Jufro, pretty pretty much on point right now, but I'm about to go in and get my hair cut. I'm also gonna get my beard trimmed and Thank shaved. Thank God! Uh, rocking the face pubes pretty hard right now. And he looks like he has whiskers. They're like poking out right here. I was debating whether or not to let it grow and do like little, you know, twists, but she probably not gonna work. So no. I'm gonna go in, get it cleaned up. I'll show you what I look like after. And this is the after, so a little clean. Uh, it's not really styled right now, but oh. definitely shorter. Beards trimmed, cut, nice, clean, good lines. So definitely important to take care of yourself inside and out. Make sure your hygiene is on point. Your hair looks good. My hygiene is not on point. No, but if you feel good, <laughs> you look good. Everything is good. It's just you know a state of mind. So if you look good, you feel good. Take care of yourself. All right, we'll check in with you later. What's going on, guys? Ari here. It's about 4.30, oh, about 4.45 in the morning. I uh, just finished my cardio session. I do Tuesday mornings. Um, I have to be at work at 5.30, so I like to get up a little bit earlier, do my cardio, so when I go to the gym after work, I just focus on lifting, maybe do a little bit of high intensity after, but I don't need to uh, focus on getting the calories that I need to burn. I like to get up early, do it. I tend to always get up early. I need some time to wake up because I don't know about you, but like if I just pop up, I'm like a zombie. So I need some time to adjust. So for me, I get up about two hours before I need to go to work. So you see right now it is 4.45. Uh, and uh, so I'm about to head off to work. I will check in with you guys after. Uh, me and Dana are gonna go to the gym. I think she's gonna do a little high intensity workout and I'm definitely gonna record that. Um, and I got some chest and triceps, so probably throw in some shoulders because I have more time today than I normally do. Um, here is a little tour of my condo gym. It's not bad. A couple machines, um, cardio. We have a little free weight stack right there but uh, I just wanted to check in with you guys and you know talk to you about like why I get up at 355 on a Tuesday morning when I don't have to be at work until 530 I mean you know like you I have a goal and I'm not gonna stop until I get there so whatever it takes I you know was up last night until about 9 or 10 prepping my food for today um, so, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. I mean, you have to focus on your goal and you have to be a little obsessed. I mean, if you're not, you're not going to be successful. So, you know, you always have to keep your goal sort of on the forefront of your mind. Focus on why you do what you do and really put 100% effort into it. So, just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit this morning. I will check in with you later. Peace. What's going on guys? Just got home from that chest and tricep workout um, and had my post-workout meal. Now it is time to prep some food for tomorrow. But I want to take this time while I prep to show you guys two staples uh, in my diet, especially during the work week uh, for two reasons. One, because they are super simple to make and two, because they taste delicious. So let me show you what they are. First one are these Sorry about the package, they're called Alexia Sweet Potato Fries. Um, the macros on these are pretty damn good. Kind of ripped them, so I will just read it to you. Um, calories, it is 140, 5 grams of fat, 24 carb, and 1 protein. So, pretty low fat for a sweet potato, for a, primarily a carb source. Um, but the reason why I like them is honestly because I don't really like the taste of like microwaved sweet potatoes, and these do obviously tastes like sweet potato fries because they are but they are baked they're not fried they're really not processed they're pretty much cut uh lightly seasoned and frozen so easy to cook them in the oven 425 for like 30 minutes they taste delicious 
Honestly, even the day after, they still retain some of that crunch that awesome sweet potato fries have. And the second staple is this rosemary and balsamic glazed chicken from Trader Joe's. It is basically just grilled chicken that is uh, marinated in balsamic vinegar, with a little rosemary on top, they grill it, package it, and it's pretty simple. I mean, it is very low calorie as well for a chicken source, low fat, and delicious. So, you know, food prep doesn't have to be something that takes you hours and hours. I mean, honestly, prepping this takes me about, I mean, besides the baking of the fries, probably takes me about two or three minutes to package two meals. I usually take two of these meals, uh, three ounces, of sweet potatoes, five ounces of chicken in each meal, um, and it takes me like five minutes. So, you know, if you have that excuse, I have no time to prep, I don't really buy it. You know, you just have to be smart about it. And I'm gonna keep sharing these tips on how to prep meals, super simple. If you like to prep your meals, um, I am one that does, I'm pretty OCD about it. Sorry, that is my dog. But, um, so I wanted to share that little fact with you, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. Yeah. yeah.